Hello everyone. Welcome to SFDC Lane and Share YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to executing the JavaScript code in Visual Studio Code Terminal and prerequisites and setups to in order to achieve to executing the JavaScript code in Visual Studio Code Terminal. And also I am trying to cover the other ways to executing the JavaScript file or code using the command prompt on jspin.com website and browser as HTML file and Google Chrome console. To executing the JavaScript code in Visual Studio Code Terminal, we need the Node.js and Visual Studio Code. To get that Node.js, go to your browser and type download Node.js, then select that Node.js.org and download the exe file as per your operating system. Once you download that exe file and install, the similar way, download the Visual Studio Code as well. And select code.visualstudio.com and select and download as per your operating system and install it. Once you install the Node.js, so you can verify either the Node.js is installed properly or not. For that, go to the terminal. From the terminal window of the Visual Studio Code, simply type node hyphen hyphen version. So it will display the version of the Node.js. So then we can get to know that Node.js is installed properly. Similar way we can exp we can check the version for the Java or SFDX CLI plugin from the command prompt as well. So once we install the Node.js and Visual Studio Code, now let's go to create a JavaScript file. From for that, let's add the folder to the workspace. I'm going to the desktop. Under the desktop, I have the demo folder. From here, I'm creating the new folder called JS project. I'm selecting that JS project and adding in the Visual Studio Code. The JS project folders gets added in the explorer of the Visual Studio Code. Here, I'm trying to create the new file called Hello World. So the file gets opened in the editor. Here I am trying to add the console log statement. And save the hello world.js. Let's show you here to execute that hello world.js from the Visual Studio Code terminal. For that, simply type the node and then select the file name of the hello world.js here this folder is available in the desktop under the demo and js project so we need to select the path desktop and demo js project then file name of the hello world.js so we need to type the node then space then followed by the file name of the JavaScript file which we want to execute. I've tried to enter it and then the console log statements gets printed in the terminal section. Even we can add some for loop logic or even we can add the JavaScript function and we can check it from the Visual Studio Code terminal as well. Let's try to add the for loop. Let's try to print using the console.log. Let's have the hello world.js. Let's try to execute from the terminal for the same file. If you notice here, whatever the statements appear in the hello world.js, it gets printed in the terminal section of the Visual Studio Code. So this is the way we can execute the JavaScript file from Visual Studio Code Terminal. Let me show you the other way to execute the JavaScript file or code using the command prompt, jspin.com website and browser as a HTML file and Google Chrome console. To execute the JavaScript file from the command prompt, let's go to the folder 
are from the windows simply type command and open the command prompt or go to the folders and select that folder path and simply type cmd and enter then automatically the command prompt open with the, the respective path so simply type the node and then file name of the hello world node and then the javascript folder and then file name if you see here that is results get appear in the command prompt as well so this is the one of the way we can execute the javascript file from the command prompt the next way using the jsbin.com website let me open from the browser jsbin.com so from here we can write the javascript code and we can get that result from the console let me show you from the javascript section i'm trying to add the console.log it's clear and i'm clicking this run with js if you notice from the console section whatever i'm entered in the javascript the statements get appear under the console section even you can add the html as well and you can preview the results if you see here in the output section so whatever we enter in the html it gets printed in the output section even you can add the css styling as well and accordingly you can get the result in the output section so this is the one of the way we can use to execute the javascript from the jsbin.com website so other way we can create a html file and from the html file we can include the javascript logic as well let me create a html file under the js project folder called index.html let's try to copy and paste the html structure html and head and body of the section in the index.html under the header section so use the script make sure close the script as well from in between we can add the javascript logic here let me add the alert and let's add the console log also let's save the index.html let me go to open from the file explorer and let's try to execute that index.html from the google chrome if you see here that alert message is up here let's click the okay let's go to the inspect either use right click and select the inspect or use the key shortcut called control shift i or from the settings click the more tools and select the developer tools or simply click the f12 from your keyboard to open the console from your google chrome if you see here the welcome to js so we added in the index.html as a console.log so that's get printed under the console section let's try to add that the for loop let's save that index.html let's refresh that index.html the alerts appear and if you noticed in the console section the results printed as well so this is the one of the other way to check the javascript output and even from the google chrome the console section you can add the javascript code logic and you can print the result as well If 
you see here, the welcome to JS gets printed from the Google Chrome console section as well. Even you can add that for loop logic as well. If you see here, that output gets appear in the console section. And one more thing here, I have the call C utilities JavaScript file that is one of the LWC service component. Here I have that function and I have the properties, two properties and I read the properties and added the addition and return the results. And I have the other method called sub here, the same I getting the two parameters and subtracting and passing the result the similar way multiplication and division let's try to assign the result variable and let's call the subtraction and here i'm passing the two parameters 100 comma 100 let's print the result variable Let's save that call C utilities.js file. Let's go to the terminal. And here to executing this call C utilities.js file, I can type the node and then the file name. The file name is actually it's appear in the force of main default under the LWC, the file name folder called calls utilities and calls utility.js so to get that simply click the tab from your keyboard and the folder appear then select the end of the main and default lwc and calls utilities and then calls utilities javascript file if you notice here that outputs gets printed in the Visual Studio Code terminal, even if I am changing the division, let's save and re-execute, then outputs gets appear accordingly. So these are the way we can execute the JavaScript code or file from Visual Studio Code terminal and command prompt and even the jspin.com website and as a HTML file also and even the Google Chrome console. If you have any other way, please share it as a comment in the video section. If this video is helpful, please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel called SFDC Learn and Share. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks again.